Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Studio 28E and I'm doing a video uh, for Jane Hall, I believe it's called, uh, gosh I can't remember what the event is called, 100 Things and um, I guess it's a challenge where we're posting videos and she's challenging you to make those items that are in the tutorials. So, um, I have agreed to do a tutorial for boho beads. So, um, to begin with, these are some of the beads that I have made. They're about six to seven inches long, depending on the charms and what I've used for um, a hook or a ring or whatever. They're very simple to make. You're going to need a straw. I use the decorative straws. They're cardboard. Uh, they're relatively thick. They have uh, probably the most firmness. You probably could use the plastic straws if you like or something around. Make your own with a paper uh, twister. That I guess you make beads with those. But I chose these. They had them available. So you can get basically three um, beads out of one straw depending on the size you want so we're going to cut this about I think one two about, about three inches so just open it up just a little bit and then you're going to need um, strips of fabric and lace and trim it uh, doesn't matter. The smaller, the better, I feel. And, um, like, I like to tear my fabric, so it's kind of uh, ragged on the edges. That way it uh, gives it more texture. But, again, that's up to you. You can use paper if you'd like. I've always used, so far, I've only used the um, fabrics. So you're going to need, as I said, some trims. And again, the, the smaller, the better. Uh, you could use a thicker ribbon for your fabric if you like. Trims. When I say the thicker, the better. I meant the thinner, the better. Um, you'll need some wire. About 8 inches. This one is uh, 22 gauge. And this one is 24. The larger the number the narrower the wire is. So you want something that has a little bit of body to it. So I'm going to use the 22 gauge for now. You're also going to need some flathead pins for jewelry making and some um, open end looped pins. Can you? I mean, I'm sure if you've seen jewelry, you know what these are. They have the little uh, holes on them already so you don't have to twist it with the wire cutters you're going to need of course beads and I've got some little seed beads in here I might use various colors or whatever I've got some larger boho beads I bought just some glass beads and any bead caps jump rings which come in various sizes to attach to the ends some glue oh, i use hot glue and um fabric tack or tacky glue if your fabric has metallic in it you're probably going to want to use fabric tack because the tacky glue just doesn't get along well with the uh, metallic fabric Wire cutters, pliers, and scissors, of course, and um, some metallic thread to wind around your bead, or some very fine wire. Oh, I can see this one has some fine wire, and I've added beads to it. Or, um, well, this is actually embroidery thread, and I pull it apart just like when I embroider, and I just use one strand. And that's that for the amount of, for the items you need. So we're 
and start with our bead and um, our straw rather I'm sorry and I'm going to I don't like to use the hot glue all the way through because um, it gets thick uh, you know if you don't use it right away it hardens and so you really don't need a whole lot of glue anyway so you're just gonna dabble it so it, your fabric will stick to the top of it so I've chosen to use this off-white as my base and it doesn't matter if you've got print on your straw or not it's not going to show so I start upside down bring it around this way and then wrap it at an angle going down and don't worry you know if everything doesn't cover because eventually it will cover with your other layers so wrap it as tightly as you can some people like bulky beads some people you know mine I don't know is there any bulkier in any one spot than they are in the others and then just continue to wrap like I said I like the fibers so I try to get them to show but I think I must have been at the edge of the fabric when I did this and it's curling so And if the fibers stick out, you know, the extra fibers from my fingers, if they attach, they attach. If they don't, they don't. So just go around. And this is where you might, the fabric tack should be okay at the end here because it's not metallic. So just put a little bit of tab fabric tack on there, like so. And it should stick. Now take your next layer. I think I'm going to use this gold, which is not what I had planned. The f no, this is what I had planned. This teal. Now, it's not cut evenly, of course. And like I said, I like the fibers, so I'm going to pull some of these threads out of here. Add a little more fabric tack to the top. And you really don't need to add it all the way down if you don't want to. On this layer, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to wrap it in the opposite direction. Just so, you know, it gives a little bit of interest. Nothing is carved in stone. You can do whatever you like. I don't mind the fibers, but I don't want the loops hanging out. Well, let's see what else we have over here for color. I had a piece of lace I wanted to use, and I do not see it. This is the one thing that upsets me is not being ready. So, um, let me quickly pull out my box of what have you here. Should have been right on the top. I just cut the lace. Oh my goodness. Well, this is in here. It is right here. Embarrassing. It's not the way it was supposed to happen. I had this all planned out. I don't know where all my pieces went. So. Obviously, I need to add a little more glue up here. So take your lace, start at this end, and wrap it this way. 
you'll see as it goes along once you get going I mean these go really fast so uh, once you get going you'll see that in no time uh, the layers will build up and you can just keep going and going and going until you you know got it as thick as you want uh, you can stop wherever you want you can add more in the middle if you'd like and I don't really think there's a right or a wrong way to do this. There's just your way. So let's trim this off. Let me take this piece and pull it up here like so. And I think I'm going to need just a little bit of hot glue there. I said a little bit of hot glue sharing, not a lot. Okay. And in the meantime, I've loosened this up. This is not going according to plan. There. So. And now we want to add. I want to add one more layer of something. And you know. I saw. I like this. Lots of dimension. And uh, let's just speed this up. I'm just going to use the hot glue. And if you know, you can spread it out, wrap it as tight as you want, as many times around as you want. It doesn't matter. It's your bead. You do what you want. Well, that adds a little different color to the turquoise and everything else. It makes it a little more interesting. What else do we have here that we can add that is a little different? How about... Oh my goodness. Do you hear my dogs? They're being bad. I asked my husband to keep them quiet. And this will be my last layer of... Threads and trims. I tried to do this all day, but they were just having a bad dog day, I guess, and I couldn't do it. So I said, I'll wait till he gets home. And I wait till he gets home, and it didn't seem to help any. Usually they sit with him on the couch and then they're quiet, but. Springtime, the bunnies are out, and they're more interested in seeing the bunnies than anything else. And here's the thread that's going to pull it all together. So, you want the thread to go up here. And this is what you were in. If you do this like this, Put a little dab of glue there, run it there, and then you can go, oh, you dirty little bugger. And then we can go back up and cross the thread we already have there. Now, I want to use, I don't know as it's necessary, but I'm going to use this little poker and poke my threads that are on the top in there. And I'm going to take the heavy wire and put it kind of in the middle here. I like to put quite a bit of hot glue in the center. And then you're going to try to center this wire as best as you can. It's not really going to show. Oh. 
hold it there for ooh, all of these out. I guess I did my job. Filled it right up, didn't I? Now, if you're using hot glue, remember, you can burn yourself as, you know, I'm sure we've all had that wonderful experience. Now, at here, I would like to put a cap on here, so that way any of the glue that was on the top doesn't show. After I glue down this piece of thread, it doesn't seem to want to stick. So they come in all different sizes, so if your bead is thicker, you can get a, a larger cap. And if it's a narrower bead, by all means, you get a smaller cap. And I'll kind of keep that there. You might want to add a little bit of glue under there, that's up to you. So now we need our wire cutters. Um, don't cut too, too close. Well, let's add a bead first because we don't want to. And this is the turquoise bead. So I'm going to put a large turquoise bead here. And... Well, it's not a turquoise bead, it's just teal. There, and then a seed bead on top of it. It's kind of blue, we don't want that one. Let's see. Perfect. So, take yeah, it has a little bit of iridescence in it. Now, I want to make a loop here. And you can use your fingers, but this wire is super hip, ow, heavy. And it's kind of, uh, yeah, it'll stab you really well. So, you know, make sure your loop is big enough to fit your hook or whatever you're going to put in there. So just keep twisting it until you can't twist it anymore. And then sometimes they break. And if they break, that's kind of like a godsend because then it breaks where at the point where you don't have to worry about tucking it in or clipping it off. So for now, I'm going to leave that just like that. I hope you can see this because I'm looking at it. No, I'm not looking at the camera here. And on this end, I've got the cap. I'm going to add this big buffalo bead. And, um, I think I'm just going to put another, if I can find another iridescent bead. Yep. And there we go. I'll put this one on here. No cap. And then I'm going to make my loop. And this is not regular jewelry wire, so it's not as pliable or easy to work with.
So just try to get it as close as you can. And then we're going to try to squash it. Make sure it's not sharp. If it's sharp, take your wire cutters. Bend it and snip it again if you can. Um, and then squeeze. You don't want anybody getting stabbed with it. You don't want to be ruining your clothes with it or whatever you're doing with this. There. And this end. Oh my gosh, I might have to do this over. They're really bad. I have to apologize for that. I probably don't want to hear my stories, but we have tons of rabbits in our backyard at this time. Um, they're out there all year long. They live under our shed. And... I swear they know that they're teasing those dogs and the dogs just hang out by the door and the rabbits come up on the patio and the dogs are like, yeah, rabbits. And they're like, no, rabbits, stop barking. So, and there we have a beautiful bee. It's not quite finished yet though. So we're going to make a dangle. Take this. Uh, let's see what I can find here. Oh, I'm mucked out again. Here's another iridescent bead. And I've got this turquoise bead that's wrapped in a silver mesh. I'll put that up in there. And we didn't need this one. We needed the flathead. Depends on what you are going to do as to whether you need the flat heads or the ovals and some of the round ones with the loops. And some people don't even use the ones with the loops, they'll make their own loops. It's just easier for me to buy them with the loops already on. That's all. See, this is jewelry wire, so see how nice that winds. Take this, lift it up a little bit. Stamp it. I think it's pretty flat, but we'll just see if we can get it a little bit better. And I'm going to take a jump ring. Open it up. Now when you open it up, don't pull it open. Do it at an angle so it's like sliced almost. Add it to the loop you made. Add it to the bottom of this boho bead. Squeeze it back shut. And there you have it. Now you can add whatever you'd like. Um, if you want, you can you know, take it a little bit further. Add a few more items. Leave it the way it is. Um, had a hook here, should fit in here. And there it is, it's a buffalo bead. And this one measures, it's pretty good size with 
they hang are six and a half inches long. So, and if I was making it off camera, it would have gone a lot quicker, <laughs> of course, without any flaws. All right, well, thank you. I will send this to Jane and have her get it posted. If you have any questions, just let me know. Again, this is Sherry, and I'm with Studio 28E. You, I'm on Facebook. We have a Facebook group, and uh, you can send me a PM if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you.